Hey guys, how's it going? It's Robin here with uh, Oracle Rising. What's up? So thanks for joining me guys. I wanted to talk a little bit about the new moon and what happens. Like the moon in the sky is so powerful and it does go through phases that are very predictable and like reliable. So um, there's certain patterns that you can follow, especially if you know, you're um, basing your magical presence on the moon in the sky. So and I do like new and full moon readings on my other channel, Aries Fire Tarot. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and check it out. But I wanted to talk about like four things that you can do to increase your new moon magic. So this is the phase of the moon where it's not visible in the sky. Um, you know, the, the earth is between the sun and the moon. So it's, it's very um, dark in the sky. You can still see it but it's difficult to discern it's the uh, almost the it is the opposite of the full moon right so it's still there but this is a time of really high potential for magic so the new moon it represents a new beginning because it's starting and then it starts to um you know uh wax and then crescent and then it becomes full and then it starts to wane right so you can look at it as sort of a blank slate so this is also the perfect time to um, really have a look at yourself and your goals. Um, I actually have a, I follow something online that is the, the, the phase of the moon because I really strongly believe in this stuff. You know, um, the moon, it dictates the oceans, right? So it's a very powerful um, body in the sky. So it's a really good time to really look at yourself through introspection and sort of rejuvenate your goals and where you want to go. So uh, I, I read something online that says this is we are given the gift of a clean slate and purification so lots of people do um, purification rituals and start over again um, in time with the moon so if this is something you're interested in I really always recommend that you guys do your own research because I'm here to bring things like as an illumination and hopefully spark a conversation and investigation um, with you guys so if this is something that you find interesting you know please feel free to pursue so four points that I brought to the table for this one um, during the new moon is to really write down your intentions and I find this is a good idea to do daily anyway but at the new moon you might want to just check out your intentions and see okay well maybe I've achieved that one and congratulate yourself you know and strike it off of your journal and just sort of refresh and rejuvenate all your intentions that you've written down and maybe order them in a different way um, because things do change priority as you're going through life so and especially celebrate the things that you guys have accomplished because that's so important to know that you are accomplishing your goals and if you're not giving yourself fanfare who else is going to right so the second point I have is to ask your guides and the universe for help in reaching your goals. So you've written down all your goals and intentions, and then it's really a great idea to go ahead and take some time to meditate on those goals and intentions or, you know, ask your guides or like speak them to your guides, you know, call in your angels. Like I really rely a lot on Archangel Michael and Archangel Gabriel. Um, and I ask them to, for help when I'm writing out my intentions and goals. Um, and I feel like Gabriel is right here right now. And he said to me that I don't do that enough. He just said that to me right now. He was like, Robin, you need to be doing that more. Um, you know, okay. So I'm going to continue on because yeah, asking your guides in the universe for, for help reaching your goal. So whatever your belief in is guys like use that like if you're a god person or you know you're a wicca person you're a universe person a source person angel person like be asking your guides like writing out uh, like when you're saying them you know um like i'm gonna say archangel michael archangel gabriel please help me make a really good video right now you know what i mean um so i think that's a really great tip and it can be really powerful for you so the third thing I have here is to practice new moon rituals. And this can really depend on where you are on your path. Like, um, you know, I, I follow somebody on Instagram, um, Three of Stones Tarot, and she is like, she pract practices, um, she's a practicing witch, right? And people get freaked out by the word witch, but it's just practicing um, religion in nature. So don't get freaked out by that, you guys. This isn't... Salem 
um, whatever year that was. This isn't witch trials, you know, it's completely different. It's just a nature-based way of expressing spirituality. Um, so really you can look into stuff like that and borrow things, you know, you don't have to belong to a coven, but there's some really interesting things in Wicca and Wiccan that can, um, you know, maybe you can start chanting something or do your cleansing rituals or meditation or whatever, a dance or a cleansing, energy cleansing. Really look into practicing new moon rituals because this is your clean slate and time to start over again. So it's a perfect time to do something like that. So the fourth thing I have is to use the new moon to start or launch relationships, a new job, a new business, or quit a vice. So there's so much power in the moon that it can help you to launch this new phase of your life. And especially this point here that says quit a vice. You know, <clears throat> I've seen a couple times on my other channel that people are trying to quit smoking and that's a big one so if you're trying to do something that's very difficult challenging like that to overcome quit smoking maybe try it at the new moon and then ask your guides for help doing that so overall the new moon is a very very powerful time in the skies and it does happen basically every 28 days and you guys can plot around it like i do like i i wrote down new and full moon so i know what's going on here and when to do my new and full moon readings for you guys on my other channel to help you get in touch with your magic because everyone has magic and i will be doing a new moon magic reading um, for the other channel and I usually post them a couple days in advance so the next new moon is coming in on February 23rd so you might want to check it out if you're interested um, in anything like that but other than that guys I hope this was a really helpful video for you guys to express you know your intentions and and everything like that during the new moon so anyway love you guys take care bye